Hello, people. Today I am talking about Young Justice Phantom season number four, episode number, episode number nine, number nineteen. Encounter upon the Razor's Edge. In this episode here, we get introduced to a, a, some new characters in here. We got some we got introduced to some, some some Green Lanterns in here. We got Kilowog in, in here. Also get introduced to Razor and Razor also. Um, it looks like this is the same Razor they're taking from the, the um the um the Green Lantern TV sh- animated series series that that, got, that was canceled a long time ago. Actually, it's pretty good. It's, it's like that it got canceled, but actually, it was actually it was a good show. It looks like that, that's that's the same character. It looks like they do, they're doing the, doing the same storyline from there, and they're continuing it on in here, which was very very cool. If you if you've seen that show, you get you get the references they put in here as well too. And you also have the Rocket, still dealing with the fact that she's in the total denial of her son that who has um um. Who has, um, who's, I can't, th- I can't think what it's called now. Anyway, his, her son is not, is not well, but her, her but, uh, but the, but the baby's father is doing everything he can to make sure his son get the, the proper education like that too. Even the, even the teachers are on board, but she's in so denial and she's so like embarrassed, like by her son that she feels as though she can't do it because it, it, by, by doing this, she's accepting the, the fact that there's something wrong with her son. Which is really messed up. So the child is going to suffer from because she, she, cause she can't handle it. And she uh, and you and you think because of what's going on with her son, she sees it, but she sees it was also in the same traits in, in other people, like in, like in Orion, and she even pushes him away and stuff, and stuff like that as, as, as well. You also have Razor dealing with the fact that um he had a, a um he had a, a red wing, red wing which, which come from anger, and then he had a a, a a blue wing which come from hope, and his hope is is gone now. So you see him going back to Metreon to get his ring back. And you see that Metreon has been messing with him the whole entire time, manipulating him to try to, 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 to see his feelings so he can see what, how, what this blue rain can do and what the red rain can do. And that was, it, it, turns, it turns into a big, awesome thing situation right there as well. We get more information about the whole plan with, with, the, um, with, the, with the league and also with um, um, Laura Zod. We get, we get the, we see the information told from, told from both sides, getting an understanding of that. But overall, I really enjoyed this episode a, a whole lot. I mean, it was, it was a huge inf- information dump, but it was it was, it was well needed to pretty much to, 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 to progress the story, so you know, so you know where things are going and know and know exactly what was exactly ha- what's actually happening and who's who. Which I, I really I really enjoyed that as, as, as well. And it's, it's so interesting to see, him, like I said, Rocket. Supposed to be this hero, so willing to save the world and save everybody else, but 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 her own son, who has autism, uh, she 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 doesn't want to de- want to deal with it, which is so it's so odd to me. It's so odd, like, so willing to sacrifice herself, to, to go to a whole other planet to save the, the whole entire world, but her son, mm, that's so odd. 